I actually want to turn the water on right now and there's nothing coming out because the water is actually turned off at the wall. So right now I've then opened the water faucet so that when I do turn the water on it will come out of the machine and not get backed up in the, the tube from the wall to the machine. This is the, the tube, the plastic tube from the wall to the machine. If I had the machine valve off and turned this water on at the wall, then I'm going to build up water pressure in this tube behind the valve and the machine. And what happens is if it's strong enough, if there's enough water pressure, you basically blow this tube out, meaning you'll bust a hole in it or at one of the joints where it's weak. And then you get a big flood. So we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do instead is turn the machine on, open this valve so we know the water will come out where it's supposed to on the machine, and then I will turn on the water at the wall. This one actually has two valves, so I'll turn the first one on all the way down here. It's a valve in the metal pipes here. And then you can actually see this valve is already leaking. Okay, and so this is a reason why we want to be careful about the order. I'm going to turn this on a little bit, and now the water is coming out of the instrument. The one thing I really don't want to do in this situation when I'm done is I don't want to turn the water off at the machine first. Because if I do that, if I turn the water off right here, then all that water pressure is still coming through this tube up to the machine, and that might cause this uh, pipe or tube to, to blow out or leak, or the valve to leak even worse, and you'll create a flood and also ruin the piping.